Hiya and welcome to my craft space. Today I've been creating with the Cricut Joy and with some smart iron-on material. I've made this pouch here with this cute little topical statement on it and I have a lot of these pouches. I receive them in monthly subscriptions. I have this one here so I thought I'd film a tutorial just using some iron on on this one so if it's something that you haven't done yet you can see just how straightforward it is to actually iron on something so on this pouch here I've used the smart iron on this matte white I also have this one here which is a holographic glossy translucent blue so I thought in this tutorial I'll use this one the first thing I want to do is open Cricut Design Space and find an image to cut. So I'll just go to Canvas and then select Image down the bottom here and this will open all of the images that are in Design Space. I just want to search these for one with the tag Create. And I'll just scroll down here. This one here, create a life you love. So I'll select that one and insert it. Here's the image here, it's 3.5 inches high and 3.4 inches wide. We just need to check the size of that. So 3.5 inches would be a bit high. The pouch has this flat bottom on it and so it's effectively about 3.5 inches. So I might make that a bit smaller, we'll go for 3 inches, and then you can see it's going to cut it out of two different colours, so if I just move along here to sync, I just want to move this colour into that colour. just so that we have everything cutting out of the one colour. Just go back and then we'll hit the make it button. So I want to make it without a mat because I have the smart iron on so no mat is necessary at all. So we'll click without a mat and there it is there. We can see we need 4.75 inches. I uh, also notice I've got the mirror off so always when you're cutting iron on you want to cut a mirror image of what you want. So we'll just go to there and make sure that the mirror is actually on. And then you can see it's actually changed the image there to be a mirror image. So I just want to press continue and now I need to connect to the joy which I've just turned on as you can see from the light here. And then I need to set the material for the mat so I have smart iron on. And it actually reminds me here make sure mirror is turned on. So I have done that and then I just need to load the material. Oh, it's very glossy. So this is the holographic glossy iron on here. So we pop this side down like so. So shiny side down and then hit go. Okay, and then when it's finished, just hit unload. And then we'll just cut the design off. I always like to keep all my little bits. You never know when you might be able to piece them together on something. So we'll just keep all that. 
and that's the design there it's a little bit bigger than I thought but I think we can make that work the next step is to weed the material so remove all the negative that we don't want I just weeded all of that just with this Cricut weeder. I think I've got it all, but the good way to check is just to turn it over and see if you can read it. So we've got create a life you love and it looks like I've removed all the parts that I need to remove. The next step is to apply heat to attach this. So I'm just going to, I have one of these Cricut heat press mats. This is a 12 by 12 inch one. Uh, I'm just going to fold it in half and pop it inside this pouch to provide a good surface for it. I've just pushed the mat right into the bottom of the pouch there. And then I have one of these sticky clothes brush thingies. <laughs> <laughs> not sure what you called them um, just to remove any loose threads or some something like that I'll just do that and then I want to decide where to put my design so I'd like it to be approximately in the center I could measure but I never do I think that's about halfway you can use a um, tape to hold this down if you like if you have some type of heat press or easy press, you can just press this down um, to attach it. I have one of these, so it's a Cricut mini easy press, so I'm just going to use that to attach the iron on. Cricut have a heat guide setting to help with this, so I just need to select my easy press mini. And then under materials, I'm using a smart iron on. And then you select the material that you're ironing onto. I actually have absolutely no idea what this pencil pouch is made of. So um, perhaps a cotton polyester blend. So it tells me to preheat the fabric for 5 seconds and then use a medium heat for 25 seconds and then flip and press for 15 seconds and cool peel. So that's what I'm going to do. This has come to the heat, so it's at a medium heat. These are green, so one would be a low setting, two a medium and three a high. So I'm just going to press this for about five seconds where I want to put my design. If you have a larger easy press, this is of course a much easier job, but the mini's really handy for lots of little jobs, including little jobs like this. And then put the design where I want it, which I think was about there. I'm not going to tape it down, I'm just going to wing it. I have a timer on my watch, I'm just starting now and then I'm just going to do this. So just move the mini press over everything. Just sort of slowly at about the speed you'd actually iron something. My timer has just gone off, but I'm not sure if it's actually stuck on yet. I might just do it a little bit longer. I'm just not entirely sure, given the design's quite big, if the 25 seconds was enough. And now what I want to do is iron it from the reverse side. So I need to take this mat out of here and then just see if I can get into here.
from the timing of it you can see I ironed it for a little bit longer than it said um, the reason for this is really because I'm moving it around so much and the instructions don't really know the size of the design that I'm using so it's a lot simpler really if you have larger presses it tells you the exact amount of time to press for and that's what you do uh, with the mini press and with doing designs on awkwardly shaped objects and things it's really just a matter of what you feel is right I suppose Okay, that's a bit cooler to the touch now, so we'll just see how we go. So just starting in the corner and then just pulling back on an angle. And here we have it here, create a life you love in beautiful holographic love it and that pouch will sit like so so you can read all of it you can see the flat bottom of the pouch there you can read all of it when that's sitting on your desk if you're not sure if it's all completely attached you can use a little bit of parchment paper baking paper and then just give everything another little go with the mini press and that way, hopefully, everything is very firmly attached for you. So, here we go. It looks a bit more embedded now than it did before. Before it looked a lot more like it was just sitting on top. And now it does look a lot more like it's embedded in it. So, here we have two different pouches that we've made. Just by putting images from Design Space onto them. It's a fun little craft and hopefully it's inspired you to give Iron On a go if you haven't done it yet. So thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!